Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If there are bags under my eyes and I look tired, it is because I am. I'm currently filming this at 7.30 p.m. at the end of a very long work day and I'm just exhausted. Bear with me. This week is the first week of July and I have been behind on my budget videos and you guys seem to be really excited for my budget videos and anytime I do something that is like a little bit more expensive, you guys will dm me and say i can't wait to see this in the budget video so you guys know i'm going to talk about it you know we're going to break down my finances of the previous month so this video you're getting a two for one you are getting may and june and it's actually fitting because i have essentially been out of town the entire may and the entire june in may i went to new york city so i did 10 days in new york in june oh gosh okay in june you guys it's it's bad it's really bad I've been a jet setter i went to raleigh twice charlotte once london to la new york city and i went to upstate new york and i went to connecticut so i've been all around the world and country so yeah it's been it's been a lot and i already did my budget actually so there won't be any predictions because i want to get it out of the way before 7 30 p.m because it literally took me two hours so we're gonna dive into the expenses i call this a budget video but essentially it's just me going through my previous month's expenses so i can be more conscious of how to spend my money in the future and i will say that this actually does work because in june i did not know what i spent in may because i didn't do my budget in may i was like i said i've been super super behind and i definitely spent way more money than i should have in june and i do think it's because i like didn't realize how much money i was spending and i know that might sound silly but i do think that when you are very like intentional about your finances and you pay attention to how much money you're spending i think that you just the following month you spend less whether it's a subconscious thing or you are consciously trying to save money i do think that you just think about it more rather than being someone that just pays their credit card bill at the end of the month and has no idea where that money went i'm, I'm gonna kind of break down how much i spent going to these cities i feel like this summer is the summer where everyone's in europe it's like hot girl europe summer where everyone is just deciding to live uh, their life in Europe and like overseas and I definitely think it's because obviously with COVID we haven't had the chance to travel especially internationally in like two years so it's the first summer where we can actually do that and also that trend on TikTok which is like money will come back but I'm only young and in my 20s and going to Europe once you know that trend I feel like that actually affects our spending habits and i feel like that's why we're seeing a lot of people overseas because of that i want to break down how much it actually costs to do that because i feel like so many people are doing that but they're not actually talking about how much it costs to travel because it can definitely cost a lot of money and i know that there are a lot of cheaper ways to travel so you don't necessarily have to listen to this video exactly but i wanted to break down my personal budget my expenses and all of that stuff uh this is kind of going to be a travel themed budget video before we get into my expenses i did want to thank today's sponsor which is squarespace it's the easiest way to build your online website and everyone almost almost everyone should have an online presence especially if you are a business owner you want to have an online portfolio you're a freelancer whatever it is it's so important to have an online presence and squarespace is the best way to do it so if you have an online store a business you want a digital portfolio like i said an online resume whatever it is you need to make a website on squarespace it is the most customizable place to do it and the templates on there are absolutely stunning and beautiful and eye-catching and you're not going to regret it and your website will look unique to anyone else's i have used other website builders before and none of them compare to the customization and just how easy it is on squarespace if you guys want 10 percent off your first purchase go to squarespace.com slash natalie barbu or use code natalie barbu at checkout for 10 percent off so first things first we're going to go through the month of may because the month of May is when I went to New York. So I wasn't gone all, all month, but I was gone for almost half, if not more than half of the month. So in the month of May, I actually spent more than the month of June, but that is because I was paying for a lot of things that were that was gonna happen in the month of June. I'm gonna categorize this by most expensive to least expensive so that we can actually see what I have spent a lot of money on. And then I'm gonna go through my individual like categories in the month of may i actually had a lot of 
big ticket items as you know i like to call anything really expensive a big ticket item some of them actually the most expensive ones uh were my accounting services because taxes were in april i had to pay for all of my accounting services in the month of may all of my bookkeeping all of my like tax returns that were being filed i have multiple llc's so i had to spend around three thousand dollars on all of that at the end of the year uh which is not very fun but it's kind of a necessary evil that you have to do for my everything being filed and reported and bookkeeping and all of that i had to spend three thousand dollars on that so that was just like a huge huge chunk and that's the price of doing business baby i mean you could do it yourself but i I outsource all of that. That's just not for me. Next biggest item is my travel. Travel, I spent a lot of money on both months and I'm gonna tell you the exact amount. It's it's kind of ridiculous. For travel, I booked my ticket to London last minute. I booked it about two to three weeks before I actually flew out, which my ticket wasn't that expensive compared to going to Europe. I flew direct from Miami to London Heathrow and my ticket was $891, which I feel like for an international flight within the same month, it's not that bad. Um, I usually tickets to Europe are like $1,200. I mean, it depends on where you're flying from, but from what I've seen recently, they've been really, really expensive. You guys know that I love using my miles on flights and the past six months, I've pretty much used majority of my flights with miles. So I haven't spent that, that, that much money. I've spent some money, but I haven't spent that much money. So this time around, I didn't have enough miles to book this plane ticket. So I did have to actually pay for it myself. I want to get you guys on travel credit cards. I am not a financial advisor. So of course, be careful with credit cards. Don't get yourself into debt, all of that stuff. But credit cards, such a hack for travel. My favorite credit cards, I'm just gonna do a plug right here, is the Chase Sapphire card. It is the best card for travel. And if I can get everyone on the Chase travel card, I will do it because you earn so many miles with your Chase travel card. You can book your ticket directly through Chase or you can transfer your miles from Chase to like miles with another airline. And then you can actually get like more money that way. And then you can book your flights that way. I'm gonna have my referral code down below so you guys can actually apply and then you and I both get like a ton of miles if you use my my link if you apply to any credit card please let it be the chase sapphire one because it is the best and you will not spend money on flights and if you want to do a trip to europe and live your european dreams then get this credit card before you go so you can get all of those miles that's gonna be my plug but anyways this time I didn't have enough points because I literally used them on all of my other flights for the rest of the year. $891 went to my London flight. The next one was my New York City hotel. I visited New York City in May with my friend Tasha and New York City hotels are really expensive and people don't talk about that and people just don't talk about how much life is to have fun all those cute instagram photos that you see and like these crazy destinations like that costs a lot of money so do not feel bad if you are not at the point where you can afford that or hopefully you can make it a goal so that you can actually save money to be able to you know go on a vacation every now and then that new york city trip i stayed for three nights in a hotel and my portion of it was 668 dollars room was the size of a walk-in closet um, my suitcase didn't even like fully open like I had to like have it on its side um, And it was six hundred sixty eight dollars and then my next flight was my flight to LA I did have to book my flight to LA and that was four hundred and ninety seven dollars So it was pretty expensive But thankfully I actually got that reimbursed because I flew with a company to LA So I did get that reimbursed which is great But I wanted to include that in there so that I could show you how much it costs again to travel. And then I had booked another flight, which was $381. And again, tickets are just really expensive now. I think because gas prices are so high that flights are also just getting more expensive. But my flight from Miami to North Carolina was almost $400 round trip, which is just absolutely insane. I also had to book another flight, which at this point I'm like, I don't even know what flights I'm booking but it was $253.60. I used to be able to fly round trip home for like $90. I mean, that was like ridiculously cheap, but there were flights on American Airlines for like 90 round trip. And I think those days are over. I think it's now 200s and that's it. I will say I am also uh, the most last minute flight booker there is. Almost every single one of these flights besides LA and London were within the week that I was flying. Um, one of these flights was even the day before I left. I just book flights really, really late 
um, because I don't really know my exact travel plans and I just book them super, super late. They don't increase that much in price when you book last minute, but yeah, if you're one of those people that books a flight like months and months in advance, I cannot relate less. So those were my like travel plans. But now let's talk about food and how expensive that is in places like New York City when you're traveling. There are ways to, you know, slim down your restaurant budget and alcohol budget and all of that but it also is really really hard to do um, because you're in a city with delicious food and food that's honestly expensive and you usually have to eat out breakfast lunch and dinner so that's what i did so let's just take some of these restaurants to show you i went to lure fish bar with some friends and i spent a hundred dollars on a, two drinks and my meal and i got like a tiny meal that's what hurts that is what hurts i got like the smallest meal and I ended up still spending like a hundred dollars because I got drinks. I think I made, I got one or two or three drinks. In terms of restaurant spend, I ended up spending over a thousand dollars this month in May on restaurants because I literally ate out in New York City for 10 days, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like I know that it's mainly because of being in New York because when I was home, I wasn't going out to eat that much. I was actually like cooking and you know, it's actually like meal prepping. And so majority of that was spent out when I was out of town. In terms of the other expenses when traveling, here are some that actually are less, which is nice. So for example, um, parking, I only spent $15 that month <laughs> in parking because I didn't drive because I was out of town. Public transportation did go up. I did spend $33 in public transportation, which honestly is not bad considering I was in New York. Holy cow, my Ubers. I'm embarrassed at this. I'm embarrassed at this. I spent $607 in Ubers. That hurts. That's actually the first time I saw that number. $607 in Ubers in the month of May. Well, you need to account for all of this when you are traveling. Ubers to the airport in New York City are $50 at a minimum. It does not matter what airport you travel to. $50 there, $50 back, $100 there. If you're Ubering to the airport and you're like wherever you live, account for that and that on the way back which i did which it's usually around like 40 bucks come from from where i live so that's another like 80 dollars and then ubers in new york city are just so expensive right now and i ubered more than i should have i ubered at night everywhere because i do not feel safe taking the subway at night i never take it at night especially by myself i went to brooklyn from soho which is not that far um, and I, my Uber was $60. I one time was like running super, super late for an investor meeting and I wasn't feeling very good. And so I called an Uber to drive me two miles, like literally from East Village to Soho, essentially like a little North of East Village to Soho. And it was a $45 Uber. Anywhere you go at night, it's going to be at least $30 in an Uber. So if you don't feel comfortable walking and you don't feel safe taking the subway, it gets very, very, very expensive. I spent a stupid amount on Uber and that was all from traveling because I never Uber in Miami anywhere unless I am out with friends and I'm drinking and if I'm Ubering in Miami, I'm spending like 10 bucks on an Uber because I'm splitting it with a bunch of people and Ubers in Florida just aren't as expensive as like New York City. Double, I spent like more than my car payment um, on Ubers that month while still paying for my car payment. Things I spent a lot of money for in May, restaurants, coffee, I spent $150 on which is insane. Alcohol, I spent $120 on. And then transportation, Uber is 600. Travel, I spent, I spent over, like over $2,000 in in travel, like with flight in-flight Wi-Fi, plane tickets, travel insurance, like all of that. I spent that much money, which is just absolutely insane. So those are the things that you need to account for. In terms of any other spending, I really didn't, I didn't go shopping at all. I didn't buy a single article of clothing. Um, I didn't really have that many like shopping expenses. So that was kind of my May spending. Um, sorry, I'm not breaking it down as in detail as previous months. I really want to focus on things that I spent while traveling so that if any of you guys are traveling this summer, you can account for these things in your budget. In terms of how much money I made in May, I did make more money than the previous month by 22% which is great and I did not spend, you know, nearly how much money I made, so I did still spend a lot less, 
but it's still way, 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 way more than I would like to spend and it is because of traveling. So when you are traveling, please make sure that you're making a budget or that you're at least putting aside a lot of money for it. It is not something that's like, let me just plan a trip and let me just go because it the expenses will pile on it's not just the flight it's, it's so much more than that okay so now in june i had a lot less expenses i guess there's still a lot of them but a lot of my travel expenses in from june were actually done in may um but i did still have a ton of transactions in june so i'm going to talk about that the most expensive thing i actually spent my money on in june are my harry styles tickets i went to london and i decided to go to the harry styles concert at wembley stadium and it was such a great decision but again if you are traveling and you are looking to do fun excursions it's gonna cost money this obviously was not something that I had to do. It was not, it was definitely a luxury and a luxurious spend. But I spent $541 on two tickets and that included like the taxes and fees and all of that stuff, which I don't regret it because it was an amazing concert, but it was definitely expensive. And I like, that was something that I was just like, okay, that's a lot of money. Next thing, um, you guys are gonna laugh at one of my travel stories. I feel like I have a lot of them because I just, again, plan things last minute. Um, so my LA flight, I had, I was checking in for my flight. I was, I was, you know, checking in because I was literally leaving that night, 3 p.m. And I'm checking into my flight that leaves at 11 p.m. at night because I'm taking a red eye to New York because I had to get to a wedding for Sunday. So I'm checking in and it's not letting me check in. And I'm like, that's weird because my flight's in a few hours. So why isn't it letting me check in? I had accidentally booked my flight for the next day, for tomorrow. I had accidentally definitely booked my flight for Sunday night, not Saturday. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I don't have a flight tonight. I am not leaving tonight. So I try to change on American Airlines. I'm like trying to change. They're to change fee. I pay the difference in the flight. The next, the only flight that's available is $1,100. I'm like, okay, absolutely not. Like, that's just out of the question. Absolutely not. So I. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so I'm looking then to see what other airline, and at this point, I'm like, please just don't want to be Spirit, like, a red eye on Spirit, I'll probably get like a middle seat, like, please. So there's actually a flight for $386, leaving that night to New York, where I was supposed to go, for $386, and it was on Alaska Airlines, so I still got points, because it's, like, the same company as American Airlines. So I ended up booking that flight last minute, again, but it was a one-way to New York City for $386. So it was expensive, but honestly, not as much as I would have thought for literally being in a few hours. Anyways, that was one of my expenses. Um, I ended up staying at the One Hotel, which if you guys want to know how much the One Hotel is, it's so expensive. One night at the One Hotel is was $733. I did not pay that. I did not pay that. I would never in my life pay $733 for a hotel ever, 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 ever. I won't do it. So whenever you see like all of these people going to the One Hotel and you're like, oh my God, I want to stay there. How much is it? That's usually the price range. The ones in Miami or the, the one in Miami is even more expensive than that. The company I was going with was actually paying for a large portion of my hotel. And I figured I am never going to stay at the one hotel in my life because I will never spend that much money on a hotel room for one night. Um, so if they're covering most of my hotel, then I'm just going to book one hotel and I'll, I'll pay the difference. Look, I'll just pay the difference then because then I'll get, I'll get to stay at the one hotel for a lot cheaper so i ended up paying 200 dollars to stay at the one hotel and i don't regret it at all i could have gotten a free hotel but i really wanted to experience staying there so i spent 200 dollars <laughs> instead of 700 um and i ended up staying at the one and if you're wondering about what happened to like my previous flight that i had to cancel um on american airlines i don't know if it's because i'm like a gold priority member or it's just like because since covid they're doing this but if you cancel a flight there's like no fee and you just get the credit to your like american airlines account so all of the flights that i've had to like cancel or change or anything like that i just get the credit in my account so next time i book a flight i'll be able to use that credit so it's not technically like i lost any money being like oh my god natalie you change and cancel flights so often because I do, it's just because I don't get penalized for it and I just use it for my future travel. So there's some flights on here that I had booked for future flights and previous flights that I had done throughout this entire summer. Like I said, I've literally been to so many cities this this month. Um, 198 on American Airlines, 168 on American Airlines, 100, 100. Like it's just so many random flight expenses um and it's flights have just gone so expensive so this month i did spend a lot of money on travel again i spent over two thousand dollars on travel this month as well the rest of the year i should be chilling i shouldn't be spending any more money because i've kind of like regained my points through all of this and i have those travel credits so hopefully in future budget videos you won't see me saying that i spent money on travel on restaurants this month i did spend a lot less than the previous month because new york city is just the most expensive city for food it's so freaking expensive even though i traveled a lot more i didn't go to new york besides one day so i spent a lot less on food 
So I spent $860 on restaurants this month, which honestly, for traveling as much as I did, I feel like it's bad, it's bad, it's a lot. But like for all the travel I did, I did not eat in once. I think that's pretty good. I spent $200 on coffee though which is insane that's including like paying for other people's coffees because whenever i get like coffee with someone if i'm the one that is inviting people or, like hosting or like doing running the meeting or anything like that like i will pay for coffee but yeah 200 dollars. i spent 100 dollars on alcohol this month so a little bit less than the previous month my ubers and lyfts again were really really high i spent 547 dollars on ubers and lyfts because all the places I went to, I didn't have a car. So in LA, I had to Uber everywhere. And Ubers are just crazy expensive. They're, I swear, every time you call an Uber, it's $50 now. In London, I actually took the train into the city. So I didn't Uber at all in London besides leaving. So it's one thing to note, when you do go to a place with public transportation, it actually is a lot cheaper besides New York City. Because New York City, I feel like there's certain times of day when you just like shouldn't take the train. But in London, we weren't out that late and everything was walkable or the train just felt safer to me. Um, so we did take the train directly from the airport and then I just Ubered back from the city to the airport because I had a lot of suitcases. Um, and that was $60 in the one Uber that I took from London. But LA, um, New York City again, uh, where else? All of those places, again, it was just a lot, a lot of money to and from the airport. And I went to and from the airport from Miami a lot this time around because between every single trip, I came back to Miami. So I came back and then had to go back to the airport, came back, had to go back to the airport. It wasn't like consecutive trips. So I definitely spent a lot of money on Ubers. And parking at the Miami airport is really expensive. So Uber is just like the way to go. Um, but this month, I also made a lot less money. Again, the life of a self-employed person is up and down. I made 63% less this month than the previous month. So it just goes to show that every month is different and it depends on like when, how, how you're getting paid. So I definitely had to, I'm, I'm glad I spent less money this month because the, the incoming payment was just not as high. So I know that this budget video was a little less like organizes the previous ones but i just kind of wanted to run through my like monthly spending kind of raise awareness for how much money it costs to travel so anyways thank you so much for watching today's video i'm sorry if it was a little more all over the place and less concise i hope that it was still entertaining and now we're finally back on track so we'll be back next month with the july budget video and i'm spending no money this month guys mark my words i am spending no money this month so I'm like conscious about it. I'm so conscious about it. I'm like, I'm not spending any money. I'm not really traveling much. I'm going on a family vacation this year, so that's gonna be nice. But besides that, nothing. Not gonna spend anything. No friends are visiting me. Nothing. Nothing's going on this month. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.